Hello, everybody. It's quite impressive audience, I can tell you. Well done. Good. Um, okay, some short words about me. My name is Jörg van Amel. I work with the German Hockey League for 20 years now. I'm uh, head of hockey operations. I'm responsible for the schedule and players' disciplinary and all this nice stuff. And um, I was asked to talk about success factors in a professional sports league. Uh, especially in the DEL. So before I can answer these questions, I would like to tell you what the DEL is, in case you don't know. It's the first professional hockey league in Germany. We have 14 teams. Um, yeah, our group says it's around 120 million. I made a mistake on the presentation. It's 120, not 100. Um, yeah, we have about 2.6 million visitors every year in our buildings. Uh, with these numbers, we are team sport, indoor team sport number one in Germany, far away from handball or basketball, um, which is good. Uh, we have a long-term TV contract with um, Deutsche Telekom, Agenda Sports, um, and it lasts until 2024. Okay, this is enough for, for now. So before we talk about success factors, I would like to tell you something about our our mission, some, or what we as a league do, or what for us is the success. You know, as a league, you don't have games, you don't have players, you don't have to fight for the playoffs, you don't have to, to win the cup, because we, we make it to the playoffs every year, and we every year we take part in the finals. So the only difference is that we uh, will never win the cup as a league office. So, so for us, it's more important that we and our teams act sustainable, that we have, uh, that we care about integrity of our competition, that our teams are economically and financial stable, you know, and then there's a, a fair play on the ice and off the ice. This is, this is, our, this is our mission, so, and it's, it's written under the underline, you see it, it's um, make sure that the league will is, exist uh, within the next 100 years or 1,000, whatever, and that the game of hockey will be played within the next 100 years. This is our, this is our goal, our aim. This is what we are working for. So my presentation, I, will I, you, you, I, I could talk days about these uh, topics, but, but on this presentation, I will uh, focus on, on these four topics. It's, it's partner management, brand and quality management, infrastructure and uh, sustainability and integrity. Um, this is for, for me, these are the most important success factors in professional sports league. So let's start with partner management. What is partner management? What are your partners in a league? It's, it's of course, it's your sponsors, stakeholders, shareholders, your, your, your media partner, your VIP guests, I even your fans are your partners. And so you have to find a system to, to work with them. First, it's important to find the, the right partners. Yeah? If, if you, in the DL, we have some, some big international brands like SAP, like uh, Red Bull or Deutsche Telekom, which is good. You know, it gives you some financial stability. And, um, but what is, what, is more, what is more important is that these companies make you better. You can use the company to make you better. Of course, they, are, they can eat you up if they want to, so you have to be careful. But usually, they make you better. They can help you getting better. So it's very important to find the right partners and to work with them. Yeah? Not only to see them as, yeah, you know, you, usually in the, in the past, <coughs> you had sponsors. You had sponsor, give me, money, give, give me money, and I will put your logo on a shirt. Okay, but this is, this is what the old days. In the new days, you have to work with the companies, and the companies are expecting this. Yeah? And take it as a chance, work with them, and try to get better. So, good example, our TV partner, our long-term relationship, or partnership with, with Deutsche Telekom, helped us to get better. This leads me to my next point, infrastructure. I think without Deutsche Telekom, we would never have would never had started to, to improve our, our buildings. You know, we, we worked, or the teams worked really hard on getting better light in the arenas, get better sound. Uh, the overall technical infrastructure got better, and we, we got to know the, the state of the RTV standards, and now we are trying to achieve these standards because it's so important. And why is it important? 
because you are on a, on a market in Germany, you're on a market, you are, you are fighting for so, le so, so low TV time, you know, and you're you are fighting against, or you're battling with handball and basketball, and, and you, have to be, you have to be the best. And on this market, it's, it's important that you have a, a good TV appearance, that, that you have a good, you know, you, you have to look good on TV. If you don't look good on TV, the TV partners, they won't pay money for you. So this is uh, how Deutsche Telekom helped us to, to improve our TV ex um, appearance. We are not done yet. We are still, still struggling in some areas because it's, it's, it's quite expensive and it takes a long time and you have to learn. The teams have to learn and this is our job to say, hey, do something with the infrastructure because it's important, it's important. Maybe you don't see it now, but you know, in five years, it's, it's really important. This arena is the um, SAP arena in Mannheim, the current, current DL champion, and they, they did a quite good job in, in uh, yeah, pimping their building. Next one, there is no, f there is no, no, no funny picture because it's, it's uh, probably for me the most important part, it's integrity. You know, you have to, as a league, you have to, to be successful and to be successful the next 100 years, you have to put a system in place uh, which grants a fair competition, economically and on ice. This is really important. So we did a lot of work over the last 15 years and we have, we have, co we have an anti-match anti fixing system, anti-doping system. We have a very severe um, club licensing system. Uh, Anti-match anti fixing and doping, we don't do it on our own, which is very important not to do it on your own because we, we found some really good partners, reliable partners, partners that are, are well known and they're doing this for us because if we would take care about doping or match fixing then nobody would believe us, you know? So it's important to, to have somebody do the job. Financial fair play, I, I talked about being a, a reliable partner for your sponsors, partners um, and it's really extremely important that no team drops out during the season. So you have to make sure that the team has enough money to survive one season. You know, what happens in the summer is a different story, it doesn't matter, but you, it, you, know, you know. So, we didn't talk about the, um, the on-ice product till now concerning integrity. So what was quite new in the DEL, we, um, we, have, we impl implemented a game center. Game center is a, you, maybe you know it from the NHL, they call it situation room, they called it war room before, now it's a situation room and it's, you, you find that um, in different leagues, now we have the game center and it's, um, it's a really a room, I, I can show you, i show you something, I have to, okay. It's a game center, you know, ev we lock every game. Every game is, is monitored by a logger. We call the guy's logger. He's sitting there in front of a computer and he's, he's writing down every incident happening in the game. You know, that can be uh, there's bad ice quality, missed calls, dangerous action. A, a coach is going mad at the referee, whatever. Yeah, a player is going mad. All this stuff is written down and they make video clips and then they put it in the report and they send the report to, to the, uh, to the to our uh, sport departments, officiating, Department of Player Safety, Hockey Operations, which is mine, and um, even Public Relations. And then we see this and we deal with this and then we talk to the teams and say, please tell your coach not to freak out on the bench uh, the next time we will uh, act accordingly. So this is, uh, this is the system. Why? I don't have to go back one. Why do we do this? Because this is, for us, this is brand and quality management. Yeah, this, this game center, this room, this, and these reports coming out of the room help us to control in, and improve the brand and, and the, the product, you know, because we, we can't see anything, you know. Without these, this game center, we were, yeah, we would only get to know 10% of that, what we know now, so, yeah. What we want, what's extremely important, officiating, Officiating, we want to have the same officiating standard in every building. We want to have the same officiating standard in Berlin, uh, like in Munich. So there shouldn't be no difference. 
And this, is, this game center helps us really to, um, to, get, to get better with the Onice product. You know, you see a TV imp um, appearance, everything. You, you can read it there. I won't go through all points now. Okay, we have this. Yeah, this are some live expressions, some pictures. There are really people working there every evening when there are games. Yeah. Okay. The last focus point, sustainability. It's quite new. What we, you know, the, the, um, our mission, hockey, we want hockey to be played, or want the DL to be there in, in 100 years, has a lot to do with the sustainability. We changed our approach towards this, and we, um, we developed a, a family brand called P Power of the Game. It's not a, it's not a campaign. It's, it's really a family brand. It's where we collect all um, sustainability events of our teams yeah and we tr we help them to, prom to promote their sustainability events it's not it's not only it's not only um, saving animals or saving the environment it, it's a lot more it's had a lot to do with social it's, it's aspects and asking talking about success i think you, you only can be successful in your in your local market now when you are important for the people living around you. You have, to take, you have to take the responsibility you have as a, as a sports team, as a local sports team. Yeah, you, c you can't expect the people coming to your arena, paying money, and then that's it. Because you have to give something back. You have to, they have to, you have to be relevant for them, and, and you have to care for the people. So this is why we started this brand new campaign. And with this, within this campaign, we have um, a five-star program, which is... Uh, cares about youth development it's we, we made some guidelines people who uh, the teams who doing a good job they get money out of the system teams who are doing a not so good job are paying a, a fee yeah so and there it's 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 kind of it's kind of financial fair play you know the teams that do a good job, get rewarded, and the, the teams that do not care about youth development, they have to pay. It's simple, and it works. It works. It really works. The number of, of, of German kids playing hockey is, is rising with over the last 10 years, and it's really, it's really fun to see. Okay. To sum it up, success factors, professional sports leagues. First, the first and important point is here is the last one on the on the slide it's take care of your own brand because if you don't take care of your brand somebody else will do coaches players partners and you probably won't like it what they do with your brand so yeah act responsible take care for integrity and take care for your own brand and then set the stage for a balanced, balanced and fair competition. And, and that's it. And the rest will be done by the teams and the players. OK. I'm done with my presentation. Thank you very much for listening. Enjoy. Uh,